Welcome to the top five most insane media excuses for Joe Biden's girl touching. For years now, I've seen all these videos on the internet of Joe Biden rubbing little girls' faces, smelling their hair, and whispering into their ears from behind, and I've always been baffled why this isn't a bigger news story. I mean, yeah, the media runs cover for Democrats, and that's not really that surprising, but how could they possibly cover this up? It's all over the internet, and it has been for years now. Even now, it's in the news, but I haven't seen any of these videos of him with children, rather just still shots of him inappropriately touching women. Some of whom who have actually come out in his defense, which again, is completely perplexing. So take a deep breath and let's go down the list of what I think are the five most insane defenses of Joe Biden in the media. Number five, the views Whoopi Goldberg. So Whoopi Goldberg actually defended Joe Biden and said, quote, I don't want Joe to stop doing that. Really now, what does it matter what you want anyway, Whoopi? I thought it was the victims that mattered here. Now you get to decide what's appropriate to the people who felt it was inappropriate? Does anybody who's watching this video believe for one second that Whoopi would be saying any of this if it was Brett Kavanaugh we were talking about? But then again, this is a woman who said what Roman Polanski did to kids wasn't real rape. Number four, The View's Meghan McCain. So yesterday, Meghan McCain puts out this ridiculous tweet in defense of Joe Biden saying, Joe Biden is one of the truly decent and compassionate men in all of American politics. He has helped me through my father's diagnosis, treatment, and ultimate passing more than any one of my father's friends combined. I wish there was more empathy from our politicians, not less. Am I crazy or is everything that Meghan McCain comments on somehow or other related to her father? You know, Meghan, it's possible for someone to be outwardly nice, but also still be a creepy pervert. Do you judge people purely based on their relationship with your father? Did Biden ever touch your father this way? But you're right, Megan. Screw the people who thought it was inappropriate because your father. Number three, the always shrill and annoying Anna Navarro. When we, you know, make such hay about things that were not intentionally um, you know, perverse. This was not sexual harassment. Okay, first off, I'm so tired of the pussy grabbing trope. The whole thing started with secretly taped private conversation where Trump was just bragging about slang tang. Not exactly an unusual thing for straight men to do. He's a rich, famous guy, so it's not really surprising to hear that there's a bunch of groupies who want to bang him. However, where are all the women that are complaining about him grabbing their pussy? As far as I know, there are none. So what is Navarro even talking about here? We actually have dozens of videos showing Joe Biden stroking and smelling young girls as he whispers into their ear from behind. If he did this to my daughter, he'd be unconscious. He only seems to do this to women and young girls. There's no video of him doing this to men or boys. The women who have come forward seem to think that they were sexually harassed, but Navarro doesn't seem to believe them. Showing once again that the Me Too movement is driven by partisan politics. Number two, fake Republican and never Trumper, David Brooks. When I started covering politics, I was struck by how often politicians made physical contact with voters and journalists. It wasn't about sex, it was about connection. Joe Biden, who emerged in that era, is one of the finest people I've ever covered. Let me get this straight, David Brooks. You saw politicians walking up behind women and girls to stroke their faces, smell their hair, and whisper into their ears from behind. You saw politicians doing this to men and women to make connections. Really? I think not. I guess as long as you're quote, making a connection, that makes it okay. Does that go for everybody or just the guy that you think has the best chance of beating Trump? I guess anything goes because orange man bad. And what is it with all these supposed Republicans and conservatives who are just lavishing Democrats with praise? Brooks, Bill Kristol, Navarro, McCain? More and more, it seems like the GOP has been infiltrated by Democrat operatives. Number one, the Washington Post. Check out this headline. Joe Biden's affectionate physical style with women comes under scrutiny. Whoa, that's some serious spin. Why didn't they describe Trump's pussy grabbing as an affectionate physical style? I'm sure that he's just affectionate for the vagina like we all are and was just using a physical style. 
So yeah, okay, whatever. Let's just go along with this obvious spin and accept that Joe is just showing affection to women. What about young girls? Is it really okay to stroke a girl's face, smell her hair, and whisper into her ear from behind? I mean, seriously, the videos of him doing this are really hard to watch, and the kids that he's doing it to don't seem to be enjoying it. You know what? Fine. You all want to run Biden because you think he can beat Trump? Okay. I am just really looking forward to the political ads that are sure to come out. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like my content, please consider supporting me on Patreon, PayPal, or Subscribestar. You can find the links in the description or in the pinned comment. Thank you.